In this video, we are going to be covering the Autodesk user management for the single user licenses. First, the primary admin needs to go to their accounts page at manage.autodesk.com. After signing in, on the left, you will see user management. And there will be two or possibly three options depending on your current license structures. If you have both single user and multi-user, you will have the by user, by product, and classic user management. If you have just single user, you will have the by user and by product. If you have just multi-user, you will have classic user management. Let's start off with going into by user. In the by user page, this is where you will see a list of all the users in the company that you have added, and you can check into what their licenses are. You can also see their primary role that they have, such as primary admin, secondary admin, or end user. If you click on an existing user, you will see a list of what software you have available and if it's assigned to a user or not. Under the assigned, you will see a list of the software, and then under the not assigned, you will have a list of the software that you can assign the user. To assign, you simply click the assign button to give them access to that software. And same thing, you can click unassign to remove access from that user. Click the back button to get to the back to the user page. And if you don't see a list of users that you need, in the upper right corner, you can click on invite users. Then you have the, in, the option to invite a single user, invite multiple users, or you can import using a template with their first name, last name, and email address. So in here, if I type in a user's name, I can then type in their email address and assign them a license afterward. Send invite. And the user is now added to my list. The status will show pending until they have either accepted the invitation or log into their Autodesk account. I can click on the user and then assign them a seat. I can do this to as many users as I have licensed. Uh, then I can either assign them a, an, another role. For example, I myself is secondary admin. But if I needed to, I can change role and select a user access. Or I can make myself primary admin and this will remove the primary admin's access from the any other the primary admin. You can only have one primary admin, and you can have a few other secondary admins depending on teams. For teams, you can select the option right here for teams. However, you cannot add additional teams. At this time, you would have to create a case with Autodesk to add additional teams. And this will be per contract that you can create more teams. If everything is under one contract, uh, it's going to be under one team. You can also go to by product and see a list of all the products and how many seats are available. When you click on the product, you will see a list of all the users that are assigned. And from here, you can also unassign a, a seat, or you can assign more users. And you would just start typing in their name and hit assign. However, you can also import to assign if you need some additional users to create if they do not, if they're an, not already created. And this is the Autodesk User Management Portal.